So in this video we want to convert this SBA into have two routes in terms of what Svelte, Svelte Kit is doing and um, so we're going to have to think about how we're going to do this. So in the older app we are using um, Svelte routing where everything is sort of, we don't have route files in a sense, we have um, route components like this. Um, so what, what I just want to do is I want to have like a common layout file which is what Sapper usually does. And so basically what we need to do is that, um, so basically we want to take stuff like here that's outside of the routes, router, and uh, on tens, in a sense, it could be anything out here. And that will be our sort of wrapper page. <coughs> okay, so on ten, this is this, this here, we'll go in the layout and everything in the routes is like the, the slots that change. Okay, so let's, 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 let's just create our, our, our layout page here. So we go new slot component and um, I think it's, 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 uh, it's like that, layout. And you create this thing called a slot. Okay, so let's just create our register page as well. Um, We'll just make a, a an empty page that says register for now. Then we'll worry about all the Firebus Firebase stuff later. <clears throat> okay. So I guess we can. Let's just see what we can do here. Do we run Dev again? Does that generate anything? Let's see how Rich does it. We did create a slot for the content to come through, like so. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy everything over from the index page, put it in the layout, and then up here, get rid of the content, and replace it with a slot. Okay, you take everything from the index page. So in sense, in our case, it would be the app.js file, and it sticks that in the layout. So let's just do that for... No, we can't really do that, can we? Um, you know what, just, let's just, just say this is the layout. And will that compile? Right, so we've got this layout thing here. Okay, so let's just get some of the basics over. So from our original app, it's, we want that is on every page, Svelte Fiber Starter. Sorry, it's taking a bit of time, but I mean, if it's taking me time to learn it, it'll probably take you guys some time to learn it as well. So, you know, let's, let's just put that like that and then just open up our old app file. Um, I'm just wondering if I, if I can copy this straight over because I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if I could do that, to be honest. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just try it, shall we? I mean, there's quite a lot of stuff in there, like all that user data stores and and all that code. What should we do? What should we do? It's tricky. What's the minimum amount of code that I need for this? I guess. This is the minimum, just this stuff here, without all the routes, so we can probably just... So that'll take us down to the dev there, and the dev can be like a slot. And we have 
like this. Right, so we've got some references. So we're not going to have. Um, how does he do? How does he do um, routing? Links and like so. Um, Counter has been grayed out because I'm not using it, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, also, we're getting some unused CSS messages here, so we can get rid of those as well. Uh, how does he do uh, that? You see, it, it's basically instant. Um, so we now have the index page. We the index page, but um, uh, I think begin by creating a navigation component. Inside the components directory here, we'll create nav dot spelt. Uh, very simple, just a nav element with a href equals slash for the root. Nav. All right, so that's it's just like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> we don't need any of this stuff because that's like spelt routing, so we can remove that. And what other? Oops, that's the wrong file. So in our layout file, we want to remove all this stuff. So there's a lot of like Firebase logic <coughs> that, well, we don't need any of these pages. Um, we need the, some of the methods. So probably we need all the uh, all the stuff from the back end code. So we'll need the utils logging Firebase backend. And that, do we need the main JS? Okay, we probably need that as well. Let's just do a big bang approach here. So, So these are the components that the app uses. Let's just try and keep track of what we're doing. So we've created a layout file. We've copied over our API, JavaScript stuff, spinner code, um, this email component, Firebase backend. I'm not even sure if we need this main file. It's going to be a really spaghetti intertwined video, this one. But we need to get it done, don't we? We need to get it done. If, you haven't, if you're not sure, if you're not sure how this code works, I recommend you see all the previous videos. Just work out what it is. Otherwise, this doesn't make no sense to you at all. Nothing's going to work here when I try and compile this, isn't it? Um, you know what? Let's just go here. So we don't want anything to do with Svelte routing at all now. And we're not using components like this, I believe, anymore. I just want to get one route working, that's all I want. So this is our dev server here. Okay, this is, sorry, this is the, this is the original Firebase server running the uh, roll-up roll stuff. Uh, okay, I need to add... Uh, you know what? Those loading spinners, I stopped using them. Um, I'm just going to remove that from the code because I don't like them anymore. So, because I can just use like the cursor mouse spinner instead. Um, so we don't need that. And all this pending API call stuff, I don't actually use it anymore. Because I've, I've built, basically built Mentor CV based on this code. And a lot of the stuff I've actually improved and made it more simple for myself. So I'll just get rid of these things that I don't need anymore. More clean code for my friends on YouTube. I'll turn it to whack keyboard because I'm still being lazy and using the, uh, the, um, the, the Mac microphone. Which is actually not too bad, to be honest. I 
mic is nice and hot. The computer's nice and hot. Okay, so unhandle promise rejection warning at object install. Oh, this error is only by throwing it inside of an async function for a catch block by rejecting a promise which is not handled for catch rejection. So this looks like there's some fancy. Uh, why is there still a link to Svelte routing? Let me just see what's going on here. Ah, here. So there's still some like might there might be some like new stuff left. Ah, here. This is a big bang approach that I do not recommend anybody does when... Well, I guess sometimes you just have to do a big bang approach, don't you? Well, look, look at that. That's great, right? Okay, so obviously there's some... We need to create a route called register dot red register dot js. And a layout file. So the layout file has a bunch of stuff that's garbage. Right, so we don't need any of the actual route components. Use a data store not found. So that's a use of data store there. So where is it complaining about that? I thought we're supposed to nice friendly errors in the page, yeah? So it's looking for it in the routes, why is it doing it? Firebase backend not found. All right, let's just see where that's been referenced. So this file is um, a component for changing the email address of Firebase. And I want to be able to access the uh, the file here from Firebase backend, update user email, which it is, it is there. Okay, so I don't know, let's just run build to see if that makes things better. Well, that's interesting, it gives us the error right there. Okay, so routes, layout, JS, it can access. Um, Firebase back in. Of course it can't because the path has changed. Um, so that was originally the app.js, so Firebase back end is going to be like that, right? Okay, there's another one. App from AppJS. So there is th there is no such thing as an AppJS now, right? Uh, so where does this main code go? So before there was like an ap um, apps felt, and there's this like main JS, which creates the app. So we need to wrap this logic up in the new way. So let's just uh, look go back to what that. Um, 
So the the first original file there I think is just a it was like an index app.html, right? So how do we get our initial logic to render before So I'll spend enough time trying to work out that how that's gonna work. Basically I'll just wait for the guys to that are working on Svelte kit to get back to me and we'll try and figure out how we can run this in the application before we run anything else wrapped up in the layout file.